Hello and welcome, this is your boy Jack, here to do another reaction video. We are going to be reacting to J.J. Lynn's The Flying Phoenix, which is also another track from, or oh, another performance from the ZJSTV music channel, Sound of Dream. Check it out if you guys get a chance to do so. They have fantastic artists over there, fantastic performances. And if you wish for me to react to some of the other artist in there just let me know send me the links and that's absolutely fine also don't forget to hit the subscribe button you know help this channel grow and whatnot so anyway with that said we are going to be reacting to one of his performances from the sound of my dream and it is entitled the flying phoenix i listened also to about 20 seconds of it and I was intrigued and I wanted to react to it as soon as possible but things happened ended up reacting to the other one that just dropped our love so well it doesn't really matter they were both intriguing our love just happens to be something I was I don't know it just kind of spoke to me so I just needed to hear it I especially love the um, uh, as I said the violin, the intro, it sort of reminded me of um, of a previous soundtrack I've heard from a movie called The Last Emperor of China. So that actually intrigued me and I was curious and I just wanted to check that out first before I actually did this. So this is why this is dropping a bit later. All right, with that said, I don't even know why I'm explaining I did that in the other video, but yes, you guys know, this was initially supposed to be the first one to drop, my first JJ Lin video since the last one, since the um, debacle that was actually the watch along, Eagle Eye, which was fantastic until, of course, there was an issue, but with that said, oh my god, I'm, I'm just rambling on, I do apologize, okay, with that said, we will be reacting to Flying Phoenix, and obviously it's JJ Lin's, and it's part of the Sound of My Dream performance. And I'm gonna stop and say, let's get this reaction party started. All right, without further ado, <laughs> voila. Well, he's looking. <laughs> oh, the hell. That was hysterical, I'm sorry. I, he's so into the zone and they screwed up the whole fist bomb, handshake, whatever just happened. It does happen to the best of us. It's not the first and definitely won't be the last person that's ever happened to. But it's funny, always seeing that happen on screen. It's there for posterity's sake, till the end of times. All right, with that said, let's continue. He's looking especially serious this time. I always love acoustic guitars. It's absolutely. Hold up, hold up. Is it me or does it? I don't know, for some reason. This actually, it actually sounds like um, the strumming, the acoustic guitar actually reminds me of Destiny's Child. Um, what's it called? A slow down version of, ah, is it Say My Name? Yeah, Say My Name, Say My Name. A very slow down version of it, which is very interesting. Obviously it's not, but it does remind me of that, which is, Quite intriguing actually. As I said, I love acoustic guitar, especially if it's done right, Spanish style. Which is what this sounds like. Yep, it does remind me of Destiny Shells on my name. A very slow down version of it. Ah, you have background dancers. Interesting. Chang Shan Su Wang Chang Shang Shou 
却空留几余地，一情相悦，一心相许，一生相偎。Okay, it seems like it's some sort of love story. Ah, I love that on stage, the flying phoenix and everything. That's absolutely insane. Oh, the switching instruments. Okay. Okay, this is now turning into his assassin persona. I have to say, dude, I do. Hold on, let me stop before it continues. I have to say, I love the um, the shawl hoodie poncho looking thing. It's absolutely fantastic. He tends to dress very interestingly during these performances. I mean, with the last one, he had the glittering red suit with the back missing, which is a very interesting look. I guess maybe only an artist could actually. Pull that off, but that that looks very very practical, and I will, I would actually love one if I can find where or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, mm, that is great. So I believe there's about to be some sort of change here. Let's put on the hood on. Interesting. What? What? Falsalto is a singer as a female character. Oh, wait, okay, you know what? I, I'm quite certain. I do remember reading somewhere that he did actually sing in multiple voices and very different, very distinct, and that's very interesting. And it's also a sound. This was definitely a soundtrack for a movie. Or something so okay interested and his falsetto is very 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 interesting Okay. Alright, that's three different voices. Interested. So it feels as though there are apparently three characters involved. Probably this version. Okay, uh, apparently the one with the different voice is probably the antagonist. The lady is probably the protagonist. And love interest, uh, maybe. And the one with the normal voice is the protagonist and main lead of the story going on. And there's some sort of conflicts going on. Maybe both antagonist and protagonist male characters are interested in the female character. That's just me. I'm sorry. I'm just speculating here. I might be absolutely wrong, but 
it's a fantastic song. It's very interesting, the vocal range. And the fact that he actually managed to pull it off. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Alright, that's it. That was JJ Lynn's Flying Phoenix. Definitely showing his vocal range, his showmanship, his ability to switch from full cell to alt O and to an extant tenor. Oh, I'm just spouting nonsense over here, but the fact that he was actually able to do that was absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So, this is. That was unexpected. That was great. Loved it. Loved it. <laughs> it. It worked. It's very interesting. As I said, I would really love to, you guys to actually let me know what the uh, story is about. I really did. It's really quite interesting what he did with his voice, and I would like to know if it's in any way related to what the music is about or what the movie that was based on is about. So please let me know. That would be absolutely awesome. Uh, with that said, that was a fantastic track. That was awesome. That was JJ Lin doing JJ Lin. And very interesting. Very, very, very different from what I expected. Then again, if you saw his earlier works, very different from what it is today. So yeah, that's great. Anyway, this is your boy Jack. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. Let you know when next I drop a new vid. Don't forget to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to react to. If you got nothing to say, just say hey. If you disagree with something I've said in the video, in this reaction video, please do not hesitate to leave it down in the comments below. All I ask is that you be constructive about it. Constructive criticism. Let's facilitate proper conversation between people. And trolling just makes things, you know, utterly nonsense. So, with that said, leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. And I will do my best to respond. I, I'll use, I do read... I do read my um, comments, most of them, and I, as I said, I do respond to some of them. And just because I haven't responded, or I didn't respond, doesn't mean I didn't actually read it. So, with that said, this is your boy Jack. Y'all take care, and I will catch you on the flip side.